For years, coaches had to wait for intermissions to receive player stats and data to help make informed in-game adjustments. They're wondering, what do they have to do here? Make some system adjustments? To enhance the on-bench experience, the NHL, SAP, and Apple collaborated with coaching staffs around the league to produce an app that provides an in-game, real-time, relevant data and visual analysis that are invaluable coaching tools. From these meetings came the newest on-bench technology, the SAP NHL Coaching Insights app for iPad. Boy, how technology has changed our game, coaches. hasn't it? <laughs> Lots. This is incredible. Yeah, it really is. There's so much that these guys can do. It's all customizable. That's what yeah. I love. Every team wants different information. They can have it right here. Yeah, no, I, I absolutely love it. You see guys using it all the time. Let's just take a quick look yeah. here, EJ, at some of the wonderful things that you can do right now. We can see all the shots that they've created. That's one nice view. You can tap on one. It'll tell you who scored the goal right there. Nice job by Verana. Score! Jacob Verana! And, you know, it's always situations. Sports is about situations in the game. And I love, like, right here, face-offs. We talk about them quite a bit. You see face-offs right here. You get all the information on the face-offs, what happened, who won them, who they were against. When you're on that bench and the clock is ticking and you've got to get a guy into a face-off circle and you've got to make that quick decision, to have this right there yeah. makes it easy. And one tool that I really like is the ability to manage the amount of ice time. Yeah. We tap right there, we can set some parameters, we can get some real-time alerts as to, hey, maybe we're using them too much, we've got to yeah. back off a little bit. We've never had technology like this before. I would Unbelievable addition to their repertoire as they try to win on a nightly basis. Absolutely. Hi, my name is uh, Greg Notch. I'm the Senior Vice President of IT and Security for the National Hockey League. And uh, I'm here today to tell you a little bit about how the NHL uses SAP HANA Cloud in our technology platforms. So a little about the NHL, uh, we're about 100 years old and we have 31 member clubs that we serve. Um, and this year we're excited, we're gonna add a, a 32nd club, the Seattle Kraken. Um, you know, during a normal year, we service, you know, millions of fans who come to our arenas. Um, we reach out to them uh, via our broadcast partners, our radio partners, and of course, our online and uh, social media platforms. Um, you know, we run our statistics platforms um, off of SAP HANA. And I'm going to talk to you today a little bit about how that came about and, and what we do with it. Um, so the, the NHL.com stats website about Five years ago, we imagined that we, we wanted to take it to the next level. And we wanted to we wanted to serve as not only people who are looking for our box scores and who are looking for the, the top level player statistics, but really the folks who are looking for deep statistics, the, the fantasy players, the folks who are really looking to engage with our data in a whole different way. And so at the time we, you know, we were looking around at solutions for this, um, you know, and for our databases and for the, the, the website and how we could make it better. And we decided to partner with SAP for this. Um, and, the, you know, the real goal was to, to, you know, make it easy for fans to get, you know, the, the sort of the easy casual fan statistics, as well as to, as well as the folks who really wanted to dive in deep and get all of the nitty gritty details as they're building their fantasy rosters or just, or just engaging with their, with their club. Once we built that and we had the, when we had, and we had built that with, uh, uh, the Cloud Foundry and the the HANA uh, database, we realized that not only could we take this to our fans, but now we had all of this data in this platform, and we could build applications for you know internal constituencies. And the the first one that we decided to tackle was the coaches. You know, we had all of this real time data coming from the from the game. We had all this information about what players were doing and what was happening in the game. And what we wanted to do was provide a, a real time in-game experience for the coaches to use to help them make decisions about what to do in the game. So, and we needed, we knew we needed it to be customizable for the coaches. Everyone has a different lens on what's important to them, what's, you know, how they want to manage their players, how they want to manage ice time, how they want to manage uh, their rosters. And we really needed to give them a way to leverage all of this real time data to help them do that and, and make decisions about it. And so we, we built about uh, 140 different ways that the, uh, that the coaches could you know, look at the look at this data. Everything from rosters and ice time to player position to various plays, which I'll show you in a second. 
uh, the, the, they have a view where they can see all of the action on the ice and, you know, derive patterns from it and help them, you know, coach and say, look, these face-offs are going this way, or the play seems to be, plays seem to be developing this way. And, you know, all of this data and all of these views are powered by SAP HANA Cloud. The, the app, the front end application, we partnered with Apple to help build, but the, but is the, all of the back end and all of the middleware was done with, with HANA. Once we had built that, um, you know, this, so you can sort of see the migration here. Once we had built the statistics website and we had sort of these views for the uh, for the fans, and we had the coaching insights application for the for the coaches to use on the benches, you know, we, we needed a way to understand and make these products better. And one of the things that we started to leverage this year was SAP Analytics Cloud. And really what that product has allowed us to do is to get telemetry back from the coaches and how they're engaging with the, uh, the, their application and telemetry back from the, the stat site. So we can see you know, what things are being used, what things aren't, what things are working in real time for the coaches, what things aren't working in real time for the, uh, on the stat site. And using that information, we can use that to iterate on the applications and and make them better for for the users. Um, you know, Analytics Cloud has a, has a ton of uses in this uh, in this regard. We're uh, we're also looking at it for our marketing applications. So we have a fan database with twenty to thirty million fans in it, and we're starting to do uh, analytics on how fans interact with things using Analytics Cloud as well. That's a good moment for me to talk a little bit about well, why we chose SAP. Um, you know, we really needed a fast database. I mean, uh, the initial the initial you know build of the stats website required a, a fast in memory database. There was really no way to take all of that other data that was coming in and turn it around and get it in the coach's hands or get it in the fan's hand in real time, aside from using uh, SAP HANA. And you know. As we move into some of our other data elements, which I'll talk about in a second, the there there really wasn't a lot of other choices on the market. You know, every single game produces gigabytes of data. We're talking large amounts of data for the uh, for the entire season, and we needed a way to be able to produce the results that we needed in real time. Um, we also needed a partner. Um, and we needed somebody that we that had the technology, but also had the internal capabilities to help us build these platforms. And you know, in that way, we found incredible success with the preferred success program with SAP. You know, they came in, and you know, we had a, we had strong ideas about what we wanted to build, but they really came in and helped us refine that thinking, and then really helped us execute in you know really short timelines. Our off season is about two months, so to build applications that we're going to put in front of coaches and put in front of fans like we don't have long windows to put these things together so I, you know it was not only was the technology fantastic but the but the the support that SAP's preferred success program was you know instrumental in making all of this happen um, you know, we've been on a journey with SAP here for, for some time, and, you know, they've been adding things to their product um, that have helped us be more successful as well. Um, so as we add market, an example of that is as we add marketing data into our, our cloud, uh, you know, we need different folks to be able to look at that, but we need to comply with, you know, diff various different laws, GDPR and CCPA and PEPEDA, all of these privacy regulations that are coming in there. You know, we've got fan data and they've trusted us with that. And we need ways to, you know, allow us to do our business operations, but at the same time, not expose their PII and, you know, help us build the experiences for them without endangering their private data that they've trusted to us. I'll talk a little bit more about that in a second. So I'll talk about our, our cloud journey with, you know, we started in, in 2015. Um, we started with uh, HANA Enterprise Cloud. This was a, this is a co-managed product that uh, was sort of a, a SAP, you know, on-prem product that they managed for you. And then quickly they were migrating to the cloud and we were more than happy to get on board with them for that. Um, you know, we've gone through a couple of iterations. It's really been a partartnership there. And the, the, I think the key things that were, that were 
good for us is we still had a bunch of our applications that we were running internally, and some of them we were running on-prem for us, some of them we were running in the cloud, and we needed to talk to HANA. We had just made this data warehouse of all of our statistics data, some of our fan data. You know, This was what we were building, and we needed to start to wire up these applications and wire up the, the various things to it. And you know, it's a lot easier to do that when that is in a public cloud where the tooling is well understood for how to how to merge a network or how to enable another application to talk to that, not just the internally developed SAP ones, but the ones we were building, you know, in AWS or or, or, or internally on-prem. And, you know, as their platform evolved, um, you know, from in 2018 and 2019 and into what is now SAP HANA Cloud, that has been, that has really enabled a, a sea change in how we build applications and how we deliver them for, for the future. Um, so, you know, looking forward to what we're building this year and next year, and talk a little bit about our player and puck tracking initiative. Um, player and puck tracking data is a, uh, a, a, is a whole new source of data for us, not just our traditional scoring system data and, and other data. It is, you know, real time XYZ coordinates of every element that's on the ice. So every player, the, the refs, the puck, all being sampled many times per second and producing this mosaic of data that we can use to feed back into the coaching insight application, to feed back into the stats site <clears throat> and a bunch of new tools and, and other applications that we're building to service a bunch of constituencies, including GMs and, and others that need to use this data. Now, the thing there is that's producing significantly more data. We're talking terabytes a season of data that needs to now go into the HANA cloud and you know be analyzed and produce output. But you know, that's an ever-growing corpus of data. And this is why we're really excited about what SAP is doing in, in HANA Cloud now, because they're really enabling this kind of thinking and ways for us to build these applications. So I'll talk a little bit more about that now. The first thing that they built that we really like is the data tiering. So we need to put all of this data in into HANA and so we can produce the statistics, the rolled up stats. So to go from XYZ coordinate data to a shot on goal or a, you know, the amount of time on ice or or pluck or puck possession rather, um, all of those things are you know important elements of of, of analyzing the data, but once we've analyzed it, we don't need to keep all 50 gigs of it for the game in memory. And so what SAP has come up with is a way for us to de-tier that data, put it off in an S3 bucket, put it off in, a, in some of the, the warm storage that SAP has for, uh, available for us. And you know that way we can bring it back at a moment's notice when we need it. Say we wanna do a year long retrospective on the statistics, or say we wanna do a multi-year retrospective or run machine learning models or other AI on that or merge it with video. All of that is available to us because we can quickly load this back into the environment. So we get sort of a hot storage where, you know, this is where day in and day out, we're, we're using our statistics data, we're using the player and puck tracking data, we're, we're driving data to the coaches in real time, we're driving data to the stat site in real time, and then we can keep it in the warm and we in the warm area and we can and we can run reporting over that sometimes using analytics cloud and or other tools and then you know at the end of the season we can slowly roll that off into you know sort of cooler storage it changes the game for economics for this because we can now use hana to its fullest without having to you know license hana for you know an ever growing pile of data that really isn't being queried at that time. And it really enables us to envision a whole bunch of other use cases for, uh, for HANA. And that's why we're really excited about data tiering. And the, the second thing that we really like is the way that they've structured the uh, HANA cloud offering writ large. I'm talking about Cloud Foundry and some of the other pieces of that. We can dynamically grow the amount of compute that we're using as well as the amount of storage. So let's say that we decide we want to uh, come up with a new derived statistic. Let's say that we want to look at data for mul uh, or multiple years or we want to do data quality analysis. Well, SAP is providing us the ability to spin up compute alongside the data storage to run these analysis, turn it up, run the analysis, turn it off, pay for what we're using. And you know, this sort of cloud model really helps us look at, you know, as as we dig into this player and puck tracking data, 
you know, we don't know what we don't know yet. And as we have new questions and we want to derive new insights, we get more data and we refine this thing. We're going to want to come back to the, to the well over and over again to answer these questions. And so these kinds of flexible technologies where you can redefine compute, where you can have tiered data storage, you can bring your data back in, ask a bunch of questions, and then put it back down to an economics model that works for you is huge. I mean, it's the promise of the cloud. And, and in this way, SAP is really like helping us deliver on that promise. I'll talk a little bit about our architecture. So we uh, we bring data in from a variety of sources. Um, we, we bring them in from our scoring system partner. We're going to bring in player and puck tracking data. We bring in marketing data from a variety of sources, you know, uh, NHL TV subscribers, Twitter followers, all of the usual suspects for, for marketing data. And we bring all of this into SAP HANA. And what we do is we run our models within Cloud Foundry um, in many cases. And we also use the SAP Analytics Cloud to, to analyze this data in many cases. And we sort of roll this up and we produce these views for various constituencies. And over the next couple of years, we're gonna add a bunch more things built on this platform for, for GMs or you know or players or additional stuff for fans. Um, there's, a, there's a whole bunch of use cases that are in our, on our pipeline, um, including our Statistics Bureau and others that are, that are teed up to build on this platform. So, you know, it, it, it really started with our view for the fans and then for the coaches, but really this was like a longitudinal strategy for how we're going to take our data and give it to all of the people who need to use it. So these, this is a little bit about how we use HANA. Um, you know, we have a whole bunch of uh, data applications that we're going to use. I touched a little bit on the, uh, the data anonymization features. We're looking at that for marketing as well, and I, if you're not familiar with that, I recommend you check it out. It's a um, it's a it's a product that lets you take the takes PII and sort of mask it without having to do that during uh, during uh, ingestion. So you don't have to do it during your ETL jobs and like keep various pieces of data away from the people that are consuming it, you can just define roles and define uh, views of this data and it allows and it allows you to have sort of one spot for your data. I think that's the big promise of this is we don't have to have copies of our data. We don't have to be moving it around. Like we, we trust the model of putting it in HANA. We believe in the economics of it and then we can build all of this other stuff that's, uh, that's on top of it. So that's a little bit about how we use it at the NHL. Um, you know, the SAP folks have asked, like, I mean, I tell you, look, if you want to try this, and I recommend that you do, check out the free trial that they have. There's a whole bunch of different uh, uh, different aspects to it. They'll you can spin up some HANA databases. You can you can take a look at how Cloud Foundry will help you. You can set up the cloud connect connection stuff to your own cloud environments, um, and it's definitely stuff that you want to take a look at. If you were looking for more information, there's a couple more tech ed classes that they're going to offer. There's a few here on the screen, um, like introduction to just how HANA works or how to expand your landscape or how to migrate to it. All of that stuff is, is great and then here for you. Um, if you want to check it out in a real world application, please go check out our statistics website. All of that's powered by HANA. Um, and then you can read a little bit about our uh, cloud story uh, uh, as well. So uh, I hope this has been helpful. I hope it's been informative for you and uh, thank you for listening.